What's to you too fam? It's your girl TK and today I have decided that I wanted to get online and speak to you guys about burnout. Many of you who have been watching my channel you already know one of the things I've already talked about on my channel is how I've been overly exhausted, overly burnt out with the thought of being terminated for no reason. So I was like, you know what, <laughs> with me trying to transition into being more healthier, I want someone to notice and know what to look for if they are experiencing burnout because you shouldn't have to deal with that. And if you are dealing with it, you need to take you know steps to control it now today i want you guys to know we're going to go over five of those tips okay so hopefully you're ready for all five number one i want you guys to know when you're overly burnt out i mean extremely exhausted the first thing you're going to feel is tired oh my god you're going to be drained okay but i want you guys to know it's going to be days when you're going to be drained and you're doing good things so make sure that you know that it's okay to take a break and see how you are feeling. And after you take that break and see how you're feeling and you're still feeling tired, then you know what? It may be something else, okay? Number two, I want you guys to know that your mental health will be affected. Honey, let me tell you something. You may experience anxieties or depression. One of the things I know I experienced when I was going through my situation is anxieties. I have anxieties terribly, but honey, one of the things I will tell someone is to try to exercise. One of the things that helps with anxiety, even depression is exercise. It is a big help. You know what I'm saying? And also, if you need to go there, take some pills, pop a pill. Pill management is always good just to get yourself back balanced. There's nothing wrong with taking care of your health. Never feel embarrassed by it, okay? Ever. Take care of you. If you don't take care of you, who will? Number three, the next thing I want you guys to pay attention to is being worried. Overly worrisome. And I guess you can always put this with mental health as well. But I'm telling you, your thoughts are always going. You're always triggered. You're always thinking about what did I do? How can I improve myself? And sometimes you can't do anything. If a situation is so toxic or if a situation has you so burnt out, you can't fix it. The best thing you can do is leave okay leave and it's okay to always think about what has happened but you're going to think about what has happened to improve your day-to-day -day life not to go back to it remember you always want to go forward in life not go back you don't want to go through the depression the anxieties and whatever else you are facing we're trying to live our best lives okay and that means smile bitch <laughs> always smile you never want to let no one ever see you you know what i'm saying you know following you want to always and it's not really about let me correct myself it's not about letting other people see you you don't want to let yourself see yourself falling you want to always improve and always go forward period number five i want you guys to know you're going to feel a feeling of being stuck like, oh my gosh, how do I get out of this situation? And the best thing I can give you or the best advice I can give you is one day at a time. I know that feeling all too well. Like, oh my gosh, I'm not working um, in the, the field that I was working in. I have a master's degree. I was fired from my job. What am I to do next? And the thing is, one day at a fudging time. Don't ever give up on yourself. And you know what? There was something that I seen recently that said, if the person doesn't want to open the door for you and had let you sit at their table, maybe it's time for you to make a table of your own. Never give up. Always stay positive and know that you are capable to do whatever you put your mind to. But you have to stay positive. So hopefully you guys enjoyed my five helpful tips and hopefully this will help someone. You know what? We have to stay positive, especially in the times that we're going through. You know, recently we are getting, you know, away from being in such a strong, you know, that C word, the pandemic, you know, and we have mental health issues that we were facing. A lot of us was gaining weight. We all were struggling with something, but we have to stay positive. Don't let burnout control you. You control that burnout. You recognize the signs that you are going through and you live a healthy life. And most importantly, I want you guys to smile, bitch, because life is too short. Don't ever let yourself go because you're not happy with the situation. You leave that situation in the past and you move on and you be a best you. 
period. Anyhow, peace, love, and happiness, y'all. Y'all stay blessed and stay safe. And remember always, darling, mind your motherfucking business. I'm out this bitch. Bye. <laughs>